from the great halls of their house, there are assembled three who hope to one day be the world's greatest driving heroes. Created from the cosmic legends of the universe comes our team captain, the Vision, Bill Fisher. They're soon to be Wonder Woman, Vicky Fisher, and our Batman, the master of tools, gadgets, and all things mechanical, our mild-mannered, soon-to-be millionaire, Alan Danvers. Their mission? To fight injustice. Share what is right and wrong, to get you out of your house and come out racing with us and serve all mankind. They are the Garage Heroes in Training Team. Welcome to the Garage Heroes in Training Podcast. I'm going to be one of the hosts for this episode. My name, Bill. Who else is hosting? I'm Vicky. And I'm Jen. And you are. So we wanted to go over a little bit of what we've been up to and what's going on with the podcast. Um, so most everyone read it, but just in case, I wanted to go over real fast what we're doing with the podcast recently. Uh, some of our listeners were saying that our podcasts were too long, so we decided to split them up. So the schedule as we speak is Mondays, normal podcast, could be a guest, could be anything. Tuesdays is dominating with Dawson. Wednesday could be a bonus podcast, and if we need to, we'll do another one during the week. But that's kind of the outline for what we have right now and what we've been doing for the past few weeks, almost months. So hopefully that will clarify if you guys aren't confused by now. I know Vicky was confused when she found out, but that's okay. Right, Miss Vicky? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Fine now. So. Miss Jen, you've been a traveling fool. What have you been up to recently? Um, personally, sure. Um, our, um, not not much. We've Jen's got a new job, and we haven't we haven't done anything uh, with racing. I started my new job today. Oh, really? I did. Different huh? schools, same nurse. Um. I am just a district nurse for like um, some higher needs students. So yeah, like a community nurse. I so heard I there's float been around, a... float around. You float around. Yeah. Oh, you're a floater now. Okay. All right. That's kind of cool. Around. All right. Yeah. I heard that there's a devious plot to get me off of this team. And you what? guys, you guys are kicking me off because I have the wrong chromosomes. No, nope. nope. I don't nope, know. Nope, nope. Last race, I heard there's another plot that's ditching me again. Oh, no. coming up. You know, Bill's it's, been, you know, it's it's you know. I've got the wrong we are, hardware we are, for this. Team, we I are guess. Intro, in, introducing some some ladies to the idea of endurance racing. Oh, Bill. Kicking me to the curb. Kicking me to the curb. It's okay. Don't feel insecure. It's all right. Your I position used to have, is still well. I used to have a team. I used to be able to go to races. Now it's, you know, boys aren't welcome at races. It's only a girl thing, but that's okay. All right. So, what he's saying <laughs> is that we were invited out um, to a ladies only one day event uh, at uh, Canaan, New Hampshire with mass tuning uh, and they had gotten an Airbnb. It was ladies only and Bill's feeling butthurt. Not butthurt. <laughs> He's feeling I'm, a little left out, but I'm no, just, it's a ladies only event. I'm just looking and at my I race schedule. So all about the ladies only one day event. Uh -huh. Okay, that's fine. All right, someday I'll be allowed to come race with our team, maybe. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where were you over the weekend, Mr. Bill? Well, I was not at a men-only event, if that's exactly. what you're saying. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> we weren't there. <laughs> well, that, that is because your priorities are wrong. <laughs> Everybody had an invite. It was uh, the last of the Great Lakes, NASA Great Lakes, Mid Ohio um, events. I was in. Mm -hmm. I was technically I was in HPD four, although all I did was play with HPD one because I was also in the. Uh, in uh, there's one final step before my exam for uh, being an instructor, so part of that was I was um, 
shadowing a more senior instructor and basically doing anything we could to help him out. There was two of us there and um, we've both had uh, one of the main instructors who is Tim Fokine, who was on the podcast earlier, uh, which we're actually recording after this, but that's a different story. So time is weird in podcast land. We're time dilating. Uh, it's almost like we're in the, uh, the TVA, but anyway, enough geek culture. So that's how I spent my weekend. Um, turned out we had uh, a bunch of stuff happening at work. And then we also coincidentally had uh, Chris and Chrissy from the Everyone Racers podcast and the Three Pedal Mafia came into town. Uh, the schedule was there. They were uh, coming in to see if they could help us out because we have a Honda that needs a little love and in general, just help us out in the hangar. And I said, hey, you know, the, the timing doesn't work out. Uh, I'm not going to be there. It'll just be Vicky. And Chris quickly wrote back and says, it doesn't matter. She does all the work anyway. So, oh. <laughs> so they, were, they, were, they were coming and then uh, I decided to come in and, you know, do my duty and uh, go get food and clean up and, and stuff like that. So uh, Miss Vicky, you had a weekend that you enjoyed thoroughly. I did. I did with the Chris and Chrissy. Yes. I, uh, I got back into town after last week working on the mobility scooter and visiting with my mom and Jennifer and my sister. Is there a and... microphone anywhere near your mouth? Yes. There you go. Can you do it again? So uh, I came back into town after visiting family and working on my uh, working on a mobility scooter down there and just did some family stuff down in Delaware and came back up and again, Chris and Chrissy were coming. So I went over and then Bill was already working on straighten up the hanger. So got it up nice and neat. It looks so good. And uh, Chris and Chrissy came, got all the work organized roughly. And we worked on the engine of the Honda Civic that we were doing. So we took the intake manifold off the back. Mm -hmm. I believe. And then Chris was so nice to explain to me how things were. It really is another basic machine, which is awesome. You know, so uh, we, we took some stuff apart, had some suggestions. There was a little bit of engine mod on the inside, which was kind of nice. Um, and we discovered that the piece that we were looking for, we had given away to the boys behind us in the other hangar because we were they were interested in oh a lemons car and they're all like in their young 20s and um but anyway i think we gave the wrong box to them so we have to go back over there we'll look for our friends behind us and say hey you know i need that box back but we got other stuff you could use um yeah two pieces but yeah so we got we got some that we ordered some parts chris went over and took a uh a little peek inside the Miata. So, um, you know, kind of walked around that bill pulled off a, a nice, uh, oil cooler off the shelf, which we had, and I'll be installing that also. Um, and we're just getting Turbos ready for ladies days. Hot. They do. And I'm, I'm taking the plunge and I'm going to go ahead and cut louvers into the front of the Miata. But, you know, I was talking to our friend, Alex Levitson. And uh, he's kind of experiencing the same thing I am. He's like at this racing crossroad at this point when I keep thinking about the turbo and I love the turbo turbo is so much fun, but the, but the turbo Miata flying Miata really limits me. And, and it, in it is, yeah. well, it limits me in the sense that I really can't race with it. I could do HPDEs with it. And I can instruct with it, but then I really wouldn't be able to do anything more than that with it. And I'm kind of at that point when. Do I have to you buy know, a car? Did, did, huh? somebody say, did somebody say I got to buy a car? But what, what? what? No, no, I don't. Oh. You don't need to buy a car. I mean, it's going to be about time for us to to either build the spec Miata or get the Honda going, because if I'm going to also be instructing, I may also want to race, too. So I'm, it's, it's kind of as, like I said, the, the, the fly me out is frustrating and it's enjoyable. Wait, wait, and the turbo Miata is frustrating. Flying the Miata turbo, is, yeah. the turbo Miata. Yes. It's not that it's the flying Miata. It's, it's, it's just, it's limiting me. 
You don't into know where what, to go with it. Right. Exactly. It's like, how do I build off of this? And then what it, what is my purpose with it? So it it's, I'm kind of, I'm kind of at that space right now, but anyway. So we yeah. were going to build the, uh, the spec me out of this winter. So that kind of fits. Yeah. But we're going to have to get the Honda done first before we start tampering with the, I mean, I'm okay with it. It's going to be a little while before I get to a point when I have to cross over into the spec. Um, but you know, I I'm, I'm going to have to make a plan for it. Well, we, you, you and I were talking this morning about, you know, as you get faster, HPD three, HPD four, um, I'd like to see you in a cage as opposed to yeah. a little bar. Yeah. And that's kind of, it's kind of my thing with it. Uh, but anyway, I mean, there's a lot of things that, that we could do to it to, you know, kind of tweak it. But then again, do we just, do we really kind of want to go ahead and put all this great stuff in it? Um, if I'm just going to be outgrowing it and that's what I, that's what it kind of feels like. It feels like I'm outgrowing it. Okay. I, I think that might be poorly worded. I think you're not outgrowing it. You're just looking at where can you compete in it and right into, I mean, one thing we might want to do is look at it for a GLTC car. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know if that would fit in there. Well, I don't but know. We and, have and to that, cage it too. So. Yeah. And that, that's, that's the limitation with it. I'm, I'm thinking. But anyway, um, but, but so, it. but so Chris, Chris stuck his, his head up underneath there. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get a new ignition coil for it. And uh, I'm going to put the, the oil cooler in it and which, you know, they have the videos for it right there on flying Miata. It's just kind of like a couple hours job tells you exactly where to put it. In a tray. Yeah. I ordered the tray and under tray um belly tray under tray whatever to help with the airflow i ordered a new fan and a new because one of my fans is cracked the shroud of it's cracked so i have a new one coming uh, and i ordered a crank or camshaft sensor which would help with the heat soak issues that i was having and that that one I was looking on the, the Miata forums for the nine live COP uh, plug in play, which is supposed to divert heat more so away from the ignition coil. And it was pretty expensive. It was like two hundred sixty nine dollars. Um, Welcome to looking at stuff as opposed to saying I want stuff. Yeah. And I was looking <laughs> at it going, you know, that would be really great. Johnny C makes good stuff. Right. But the thing is, again, that's, that's where I started talking to Alex about, you know, one of the crossroad things. I'm like, yeah, it's a lot of money. And what am I going to do with this car? I know what you should do. What? Do not run into the back of a Cordoba. Don't, no. <laughs> yeah. He, he's already really beating himself up over that. I know. But you have gotta... to just appreciate the car for what it is. Right. It is. Yeah. So, but anywho, um, I mean, if you wanted to, you could go splitter an arrow in the back and have a beast of a car. Well, that's what they, that was another thing was that when I was talking to Alex about, you know, the under a tray and he's like, well, what you should do. I mean, if it was me, I would go ahead and put a splitter on, but if you put the splitter on, on the front um, to get more airflow in, you're going to have to put a wing on the back. And then at that point it was like, okay, where exactly is this car going to go? You know, well, if, what, if you do that, there's other places you can do sprint races with it. Which ooh. that car with the turbo, the way it is right now, is not an endurance race car. No, it's not. And and you know that that's what I guess I'm I'm just thinking is like where where is the place for this particular car that I love so much? Um, because it, I want it more than the street. But again, I can't really jump into too much with it except for HPDEs and possibly training with it so if you remember ryan power who came on before he had the the uh white uh, nd miata that turned into the purple and black yes okay yes so this weekend congratulations go out to ryan power for setting the new all-time track record at mid-ohio for the st5 class yay 
congratulations in, in that awesome, car awesome. but what i'm saying besides congratulations to ryan which i've already talked to him about it you could get into the sprint type races and maybe you wouldn't be an st5 maybe you'd be in a different level due to your turbo and your arrow you'd be in mixed with other cars that were of equal skill and and, and yeah but do i want to get into another type of series with another type of car why when, uh, why Don't does it have or. to be an or when it could be an and it could be an and <laughs> or or if you want to there's this thing called trek races at nasa when we go to the events and we go yeah. there and on friday we go there and we do the four hour enduro where each car runs an hour and it could run for an hour mm -hmm. there's options you're 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 thinking very much in the box what well, again there is I, no box yeah but my thing is and, and just legit here is what is the flying miata used for the turbo i mean it's put in there but it's not like you can do a drift with it and no, I mean, and it's and it, to appreciate it for what it is yeah yeah and just a fly miata <laughs> yeah i'm just trying to figure out you know that's a nickname it's a company people were okay for the turbo yes <laughs> for the turbo for the turbo miata it, i'm trying to figure out where it fits in what is its purpose what are you going to do with it yeah where where can it go there's and lots how of places. and how far can it go? Lots of so, places. Yeah. So I mean, if anybody'd like to to help me out here and write on my on the you know, if anybody would like to kind of help me out here and suggestions, uh, are we looking for suggestions? Yeah. I mean, fill me in on on how do you run a turbo? What you can know, you run it, a turbo is it is it is it a turbo race thing? Can you race a turbo like that? I. Where do you race a turbo like that? So, I mean, that would be a big help if you guys out there, our audience wants to pitch in and offer up some uh, suggestions and kind of clue me in a little bit, because I really feel like I'm kind of hitting my, um, I'm kind of hitting a crossover. No, you don't know, you don't know where to go. So you're, you're coming to a decision. Yeah, I am. Because uh, that car's got a lot more potential than you have taken advantage of. Yeah, so I know. It's not, it's not like you've outgrown the car. No. You just so don't know the, what to do. Yeah. So the other thing with the, the Miata is that I am really kind of looking at to see exactly what I have because I really never strongly looked at it. So I do know it has a mega squirt in it. So I did download the program and start investigating exactly what it is and what it does. So I know you can go to Turbo Kitty and you can kind of get your your baseline suggestions and whatever. I know it's a forever tweak. I'm, it's already preset, so I'm not really playing with it, but it's it, it's good to know that I have it and need to start exploring with it. So yeah, I think I'm at, I'm at a growth. I'm, I'm growing and I'm, I feel like I'm hitting a little bit of a, just, just a little bit of a ceiling. But then again, the mechanics is another thing that's kind of taken off. So um, that's really kind of cool. Yeah. So I'm, I kind of have some things happening right now. You need to, you need to learn a little more and make some choices. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, there's that. But okay. yeah, so that's what's going on in my world right now. Miss Jen. Yes, how, sir. How is your uh, car hunt going? Um, Has it been postponed? Um, not necessarily postponed, but the prices are really, really super high right now. Yeah. It's a bad, bad time. Looking for a car to um, learn to wrench in and learn to drive more in, right? Right. Exactly. So that's, that's my goal. Since I can't be there, which is my ultimate desire, but, um, I, well, we'll take you. Come on up, well, Chad. No, no, no. Well, see, here's the thing. Like, I the the times that I can be there, like, I don't know enough to be able to help enough. Whereas, 
you know, if I can't be there, at least I can be doing something here and learning. So mm -hmm. when I do get there, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? And Vicky says, go ahead and do this. I'll be like, okay. And not have to ask her a gazillion questions. Yeah. <laughs> so, so what kind of cars are you looking at? I was lo actually looking um, for at a Honda um, because at Vicky is um, really good at the truck. So I figured if I could maybe just do Honda. Learn the um, Civic. Learn the Civic, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I know they're all a little different, but you know, I, I, how hard I can it, it be? together? You know what I mean? Like you just kind of fool around, you figure it out. So hopefully, that's that's take chances, you know, make mistakes, right? Exactly. Yeah, and you know the, Go, the thing Frizzle. is, is that if if what I'm discovering now is if I don't understand mm -hmm. something. Now the engine, the engine area is a whole different air is a whole different beast right now. But anything else on the car, and you're talking within the engine, like an engine oh, assembly and everything. Not yeah, like engine. when you start really tearing things apart, because I don't know exactly what stuff is yet. That's what this winter's for. Yeah, um, you can literally. There, we have books. Did you and see that, the book I just brought home? I know, and you could just literally just go to the pages, like, oh, that's what that is. Oh, and that's mm -hmm. what that does. So, but it it's it's surely helpful when like if you come up at alan's there or if you come up and chris you know we're talking to chris and because he just points it out and then he explains what it is and what it mm -hmm. does and that's how i'm learning mm -hmm. so much easier to learn when there's not a race that weekend <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 there's that but you know it's a it's a process. Yep. Um, you know, I mean, the obvious thing that I'm just going to throw out on the table, you've got a car that you aren't quite sure what you're going to do with. Jen's looking for a car to do stuff on. Mm -hmm. Just saying. <laughs> I know. Just saying. I know. I know. I, I thought about that too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, Liam was like, well, you know, well, you could do all this stuff, but if you want, you could just take the turbo out. And I'm like, it would be no it crazy, would be crazy to do that because I already have a build that's sitting there waiting to be built that's exactly like it, that is spec. So I wouldn't tear apart a turbo Miata when I could sell it probably for a really good price, you know? Okay, good. So. so there's that. Yes. So, um, so where, where are we as a team? We've got El Jefe trophy truck. Mm -hmm. where, is, where is it? What's it got? A couple things and then it's good to go. It has a couple minor things that have to get done post race. Um, okay. And just only one big job and that is we're going to be removing the drum brakes and we're going to be putting in proper brakes on the back end we're not doing that before we put it away though no no we're go that's going to be a later winter project okay All right. i mean so so what's happening right now is that we have several we're going into hpde season because we're skipping new hampshire so um with that we're going to shelf the truck for now. And then we're going to work on the HPDE cars. I have to get a couple parts in. Um, I'd like to, to go ahead and make sure we get the fluids done. And uh, apparently you might have a sway bar in the back that might be loose. Got to nut and bolt your thing down. Trailing arm. A trailing arm. Okay. So anyway. Guess. That's my guess. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to work on those and get them ready for HPDE season. And once they're ready, because there's really not a lot that has to get done to them. Once they're ready, we'll put those on the side and we'll bring the truck in and start working on it. Um, and because there's really minor stuff that have to get done with the truck. And then we're just going to put it in storage for, for yeah, for the winter, because Honestly, it's not going to be that much. That back end is probably going to be the longest part. But, you know, I was talking to Glenn Farney. He says, you know, we can have this done in an evening. So. <laughs> Glenn, open Glenn! invite. That's right. You so, come over. We yeah, bribe Glenn, with really good food. 
Yeah, Glenn Farney is a person that has a truck very similar to ours. And he is so good. He's so good. His truck is so good um, the way he has it set up. So uh, we'll probably be bugging him a little bit and uh, with some suggestions of what to do. Then we'll just put it in storage. And then that just means the winter is going to be devoted to the Civic. Um, also, we're done That's with all the... Yeah, but the Civic has to be done first. The Civic's going to be priority. You know, I don't want to divert from that. because no, the Civic first. The Civic is first. And I want to devote all my time to the Civic and not have to break it apart between two cars. Um, because that just makes, you know, the, the learning fractured. So, um, so, yeah, we have the lift is now we have the electronics about 99% done. And it just has to, away. yeah, there's a couple of things we need, need to tweak on it and then fill it up with hydraulics. And then we have ourselves a real working lift. Mm -hmm. So that's, if that's very exciting. Cause that's going to speed things up quite a bit, you know, that we can kind of get up underneath there and not have to really, we can, we can actually see stuff going on up underneath there, which is the good right to make it easy. So. Yeah. 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 So, so Miss Jen, you've uh, you've got festivities this weekend, and then an HPD next weekend. Is there a uh, chance your schedule will involve a little bit of one-on-one -on -one loving in the hangar? Pick a car, any car. What? <laughs> yeah, Jennifer's Jennifer's in work season right now. Uh, oh, that's right. I forgot her <laughs> her school started. Yeah. Plan what? B. <laughs> And C and D and E. Yeah. So, so, so the next time I'll see you, Bass, this weekend will be Thanksgiving or Christmas. Yeah, right. Well, no, we've got a couple HPDs. So okay. HPD wise, we've got one in New Jersey that I probably yeah. should sign us up for. That's with NASA Northeast at the Lightning Track, which is the track we like less. That's um, and then oh, I got the toe of shame last year. Yes, several times. And then we have one potentially, well, Vicki and I have one in Chicago, which is not amenable to Jennifer's schedule. No, that's Autobahn. Um, and then there is a chance for one at Watkins Glen. Or VIR. Uh, VIR is the weekend we're in Chicago. Hmm. Well, I know it's VIR that we could go to. So there's one where uh, Three Petal Mafia is going. Yes. Which is always fun. That's Watkins Glen. Yeah. Probably. Um, they might go to VIR too, but we were already, we're already going to Chicago and I can't cancel because that's my yeah. instructor sign off weekend. Yeah. So we'll have that and then we'll be uh, full time off season, get everything ready. Um, there's still some stuff I need to do. I may be going out west to help Peter with the uh, Thunder Hill and prepping for the Thunder Hill 25. Mm -hmm. So um, that's that's also in the agenda. Um, and then we just got to see how everything else is going. So, Miss Jen, do you remember your goals going in? How are we doing on our goals? Because we're like three quarters of the way done. You know, I, I think I did pretty good at the last time on my goals. OK. Yeah, I didn't lift as much so that's still one of my bigger goals yeah okay good well you're going to a very comfortable track next you're going to new jersey lightning so that one's one yeah. you've been many 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 times and it's got two turns that you should not lift at yep yep, yep. miss vicky how about your goals i'm still working on the lifting part okay so uh we talked about it remember i talked to a few people about it yeah, I know. It doesn't matter. I'm. St it's still something I have to work on. Okay. So it's just a matter of me putting all that into uh, right. into play. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think if you could get through that, then you're, that's your last little bit of hurdle. And you could actually get to three without it. But I think you're more comfortable fixing that and then doing it. So yeah, um, I am. Can we agree to prep for Audubon? Because you've never been there. Yes, yes. Actually, I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be doing it for Canaan also. Yep, that's that's where I was going next. Jennifer, you got a new track to you. 
and you're only going to be there for one day. So you're probably going to need to do a little bit. Of- yeah. If, if anything, we're not going to really get a practice time on this thing. So nope. it's one day yeah. only. Yep. So yep. Think, thinking about my two artistic teammates here, it may be good for you to watch a video with the track map, like right next to it. And I'll look to see if I can get somebody who'll actually talk to you through the track and tell you what you should be doing. Hmm. There wouldn't have anybody that's like online about that. Maybe. Or... I mean, I haven't looked for the track because I didn't okay. know you were going. Yeah. If you could recently. just send over a video, that would be awesome. Yeah. So, so that may be the best way for you guys to do it. Mm-hmm. So with that, we are three quarters of the way through our year. We are three quarters of the way through our goals for the year. We've got mm-hmm. one more quarter and we've got a lot of work to do this winter. Should be fun. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm I'm excited. You know, I am really excited. So I'm actually looking at your trailing arm online as we speak. So I have an idea on what I have to look at. It's the part that I broke when we were doing the. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I know now. Yeah, I'll check all the bushings and check all the bolts and stuff up underneath there. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Yeah, it's a good thing you didn't run that. I'm looking at it. It's good if that was the issue. Yep. It's a little important. It is kind of is that would that would be kind of <laughs> issue. Yeah, I'll. Uh, okay, we'll take a peek I'll at go it. Down. Yeah, I'm gonna unload it because um, I was gonna do a couple things here tonight, and I'm gonna go down there tomorrow and unload okay. and take a look. If you want, we can go early, and I can help you. But you got to go early. Yeah. So yeah, up okay. to you. Yep. All right. Anything else that we're team update? Are we good? What else are we? Is there anything else that we were working on? I think that mm-hmm. covers our side. We, we still have to catch up with Spider Stang team. Yeah, I've been trying to trying to grab the Spider Stang team, um, and they've been pretty quiet on that end. So uh, it could be kids heading off to college. It could be, um, you know, work, life, stuff, whatever. But um, I haven't been able to nail him down. So it's also harvest season, too. And they have a massive garden. Oh, massive. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's, they are definitely um, living on the land too during the summer. They are. So I'm sure there's a lot of that stuff going on. So it's just a matter of pinning them down. We'll, we'll get the shiny squirrel when we can. Yeah. We'll have uh, the shiny Thompson, squirrels. Yeah. Thompson review part three. Yeah. So. Well, just an update on see how they're doing. I did listen to more about the car and, uh, you know, the car is a work in progress, but it's always been a work in progress. And we really haven't had a chance to sit with that car and work on that car, the the uh, the Mustang. So he's he's in the process of ironing the whole thing out. So he's yep. pretty pleased, though. Yep. Inch by inch. Every car, mm-hmm. no race car is ever done. Yeah. No. <laughs> yes. It is. No, no it, it really isn't. <laughs> nope. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, that is a quick update. And with that, let's call this one good. Thank you, everybody. Bye. 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 Awesome. Oh, here he comes. I don't have my good mic. Yeah. I'd have my mic. I have two mics. I have no cords. Oh, dang. What's up, Miss Jen? Hey, what's up? Long time no pod. I know. Thank you for uh, my little vacation. There are no vacations. So, so, so not for mr bill he's a 24 7 kind of guy yeah uh, you know 12 hour days half day <laughs> big
Like he's not looking. So I'm I'm opening up a dock, which is why. What is that? That's the uh, FedEx sticker that she needs to get her stuff she left in DC. Oh, what happened? I don't know. I thought you and Diane had emailed it, but I have a paper copy sitting in my hand. Oh, I thought because it looked like it was emailed, which is why I didn't do anything about it. I didn't think you were supposed to, so. Yeah. So, anywho. So, what have you been working on, Bill? Are we doing a podcast on that now? Good. We can start off a little bit on it since nobody's here yet. Uh, I just texted Tim. <clears throat> okay. Um, if you want, I could. I what are you working on, Bill? Becoming a grand poobah, all around good guy. Uh, when is your um, HPD? Is it the eleventh? 14th. Like 14th. Yeah, we're leaving the 13th. Let's see. Why does that seem weird? It seems. It's the it's a during the week. Sunday. So it's the twelfth. Yes, twelfth. I'm sorry. Okay. It's the twelfth. Um, we've got a podcast the eleventh evening. Oh. Oh. Um, With so, who? Uh, another podcast. Okay, so Tim's Tim's at seven thirty ish. So we could okay. do our we could do our what have we been up to? Sounds good. It'll be short. You good to go, John? Yellow. That's there's some under that thing right there. Oh, huh? sorry. We're gonna, we're gonna do a what have you been up to? Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, yeah. Bill. What have you been up to, Bill? Well, let's start it first. 